In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step process of how to apply to King Abdullahi University Full Scholarship for International Student 2023-2024 Academic Section. The application for Fall 2023 is still open and it has limited space available. The benefits of the scholarship includes full tuition support, monthly living expenses, relocation support, and many more. And the application is free of charge. You don't have to pay any fees whatsoever. Hi, my name is Sylvia and welcome back to the channel. Click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to the channel and turn on your notification bell to get notified on exciting videos like this. Let's explore this together. This is the website of King Abdullahi University of Science and Technology, Kaos, Saudi Arabia. So this is the website where you're going to be making the application and it says here the application deadline for fall 2023 is still open. Limited space is available. And this particular scholarship is open to all international students. And these are the application requirements. It says they require TOEFL minimum score of 79 test, internet based test. And they also, they said a TOEFL or IITS score is not required if the applicant received a degree from an accredited institution in the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, or New Zealand. So if you have your degrees from any of these states, from any of these countries, then you are exempted from this TOEFL or IATS score. And here it also says that CALS does not require GRE exams. So if you don't have it, it's no problem, but they, they said here that they strongly encourage students to submit this result. Also, you will be needing official transcripts of your graduation certificates, and you will submit this transcript to this following office. After you might have done the online application, you print it out and you will send it to this office prior to arrival, or you bring it on your arrival dates and you also need three letters of motivation of recommendation and also you will be needing a cv so basically you'll be needing um tofu score gre if you have it um your official university transcripts um true recommendation letter and your curriculum vt and Let's look at the financial support. So it says here, all admitted students receive the benefits of Kaust Fellowship, King Abdullah University Fellowship. The benefits include full tuition support, monthly living expenses, which ranges from $20,000 to $30,000 annually, depending on your qualification and progress, and housing, medical and dental coverage, relocation support. But for housing and medical coverage, they said charges may apply to dependent housing and medical and dental coverage. And having gone through this financial support, um, I would encourage us to go through the frequently asked questions because here you will see basically everything that might be questions that you have. For example, it says, is there an application fee? There is no application fee. Can anyone apply to this? It says, yes, anyone can apply to this seeking to end graduate degree from Saudi Arabia. So this is open to all. And this admission to cost is merit-based. So basically, feel free to go through this frequently asked question if you have any question bothering your mind. And here you can see the master's program, a PhD program. So basically, this scholarship is open to those that want to pursue their master's studies and PhD studies. So do well to go through any of them to check what is in the program. And for example, if I click on study, you can see these are the programs that they offer. They offer PGD diploma, master program, PhD program, and they offer it in various faculties, biology and environmental science and engineering, computer and electrical and mathematical science. They have also physical science and engineering. So for whichever course that you're interested in, I just encourage you to click through and know what you want. For example, I click on chemical engineering and it brings me to this point where you can see 
the courses offered for chemical engineering and if I want to explore more I will simply click on this and it brings me to the website for the chemical engineering program and here you can read through what this program is all about and yes get yourself familiarized with it and if this sounds very interesting for you and you would like to apply to this program then all you have to do is simply say click here applying to Cal's University and once you click here you will see the apply button and you click on this apply button to bring you to the admission center to bring you to the admission page where you make this application and here it says you should fill out your personal information your interest so if you're interested already in msc or phd you select it and this is for the fall 2023 the program is chemical engineering and the specialization is yeah you select your program whichever one you're interested in so for example i selected chemical engineering and the specialization is just advanced chemical engineering and and then i put in my login details and password and here you check that you acknowledge this and you click on submit so once you hit and submit it brings you to this page where you would put your applicant's personal information which is a zip code so here you put your postal code and it says that this is required so make sure you fill in a code here and after that you check this box i agree and you click on continue and create and once you click on that it brings you to this page so this is the page for the application where you will basically submit your application online and here if i want to already start it says application status is not started and once i click on start application it brings me here and says welcome i can tell you your application is in progress so this is basically where i'm going to be making my application and here it says applications are to be completed online required questions are marked with red so anything marked with a red asterisk is important that you feel and when co when complete please submit your application by clicking the submit button after submission you would not be able to make changes so please make sure that you go through everything and everything is correct before you click on the submit button and for you to start make filling out your form you would click on start application and it automatically brings you to the first column or the first tab which is program of study so here you would select a degree program like msc phd fill in your program like you did earlier, select a specific specialization, you choose your semester, basically all that is in Axeris is important. So after you've done that, you can save and continue or you can save. You also have the possibility to log out if for example, at any point you want to take a break, you can simply save and then log out and when you come back, you log in and continue again. So just go through it one by one selecting each of the columns and filling in all information so anyone that is not applicable to you you would you would simply not fill it out especially if it is not in red you will simply leave it empty but here sponsorship if you have a sponsor yes but i think for the purpose of this video we are looking for the scholarship so definitely we don't have sponsor you click on no so that it would know that it will automatically consider you for the scholarship you fill in your previous education here and upload transcripts or your degree certificates, all of the documents. And please do well to follow the format that is stated here so that it would accept it. And once you're done, you click on save and continue. You have the possibility to print out the form because you would have to send it with your supporting document. And before you please click submit, remember to Make sure you go through the tabs one by one before you click on this submit application. Because it says that once you submitted, you cannot make changes anymore. And if at some point you have issues, you can click on this application instruction that you get to know the instruction that is given here regarding your application. And here it says that 
it's advised to submit your application as early as possible so that they can determine if letter of recommendation or standardized test score have been received and associated with your application. So please, I encourage you to apply to this as soon as possible so that you have enough, so that they can have enough time to contact you. If for any reason you have any issue regarding any of these tabs, I would encourage you to come to this application instruction, click on this tab, and you will see that it has every information for each of these tabs. So in the application instruction, it tells you what is important to know. In the program of study, it tells you what is important for you to know. In sponsorship, it tells you what it means. Personal information tab, it tells you what it means. Contact, it gives you information. So just like that. So this is very good to, in, to guide you through each of the tabs. So this, this way, you know what you are feeling in each of the tabs. So please do well to explore this application instruction column. It's very informative. And after you are done and you're okay with your application, you hit the submit button but before you submit please ensure you print out the form so i think this is basically it and i wish you good luck with your application please let me know in the comment section below if you will be applying to this university i'll be glad to read your comments please like and share this video for others to benefit from it subscribe to the channel if you have not if you have not subscribed to the channel drop your comments and concerns and i would respond to each of them and with this i want to say thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one bye